do you want to get a summary of SEM2? So let's do that. Summary uh, SEM2 uh, control enter and here is a summary of SEM2. It should be different. Gender is just one as you can see. Quartile one is one and everything is just one except for NA which is the missing data. Very nice. So that's about the summary that I, I got. Now there are two more codes which I would like to run quickly before I close this uh, video and that is to keep variables for example variable one two three four in a new data frame that you want to create and how do you do that by running this code uh, you come up with a new name uh, from SEM that you have already created and the rest of the story remains the same uh, for example you want to say um, instead of equals equals zero or equals equals one you can basically in, uh, inter use this this mark greater than or uh, smaller than it's really up to you you can be innovative here so let's use that and then you use this C which stands for uh, concatenation so you concatenate one two three and four meaning that you ask R to present them together for you okay so let's run this code um, I'm going back to the source SEM3 I'm gonna call it SEM3 just to be systematic uh, and then uh, I want R to open SEM for me uh, brackets uh, SEM dollar sign and here you can choose anything that you like uh, you know for example I want to choose um, motivation mot uh, anyone whose motivation is larger than one uh, because this is a Likert scale and it ranges from one to if I'm not wrong to five or six so I want I want to remove anyone whose answer was one as just as, as a demonstration really it doesn't mean a lot theoretically um, but then in addition to that I also want to uh, concatenate C uh, variables two three four five up to you anything so these four variables are okay for me and there is nothing else after concatenation it's just two brackets which you need to include um, hit control and enter and um, SEM3 is created for you now well, let's take a quick look at the um, oops let's go back to the source let's uh, take a quick look at the head in SEM3 control enter and the heads are there as you can see we don't have the name of the previous variables it starts from motivation one so this is variable two as you requested motivation two variable three four and five and the rest are not there so this is a very small data set uh, in the future if you want to concatenate this is how you do it now let's imagine that you have a bigger file consisting of 100 different variables and you want to remove these uh, th uh, four or whatever variables how do you do that I mean it's uh, it's gonna take forever to type in um, you know to concatenate one two three four four it's all the way up to 100 minus three of them that you want to remove there is a faster way it's uh, actually the same sort of uh, code but with one very small difference so SEM4 this time around because we're gonna create a new R object or data frame uh, R objects based on uh, SEM and uh, call SEM dollar sign now here I want to remove gender that is smaller that is uh, larger than uh, uh, includes our include gender that's larger than zero that's gender one only and following that minus concatenate and that's basically the way that you uh, ask R to remove the, the following variables variable 2 variable 3 variable 4 5 so let's just say these five uh, now in this analysis you will see that uh, motivation 1 2 3 and positivity 1 will be missing let me see if I have entered the code correctly control enter 
Yes, I, I have. Uh, SEM4 has been created, and I want to ask R to, to give me the head or the names of SEM4 variables just to ensure everything is correct. Uh, control enter, and yes, everything seems to be correct because I don't have those variables anymore. My new variables start from positivity, positivity 3, pos strategy, and so on. So these guys are missing. So if I run an analysis, whatever, whatsoever, these data uh, will not be in that analysis. Okay, so that's also about a negative way of concatenation. And um, last but not least, let's, oops, let's, sorry, let me go back here. Uh, names, uh, na names of uh, SEM SEM4, so we want R to give us the names of SEM4. This is another way of looking inside SEM4. And finally, summary of SEM4. Did I say, okay, yeah, SEM4, yes. Uh, uh, control, enter, and this is a summary statistics of SEM4. All right, so there's one more thing I, I really need to talk about before I, I finish this video. I'm very sorry. I thought this is the end of the video, but it's important to know how to install packages. You include uh, this code, install, and this prompts you, install packages, yes. What do you want to install? For this demonstration, I want to install a package called uh, Psych because it's used for psychometric analysis. So this is exactly how you would uh, want R to install a package for you. Uh, there are two quotation marks on both sides of the package. And then again, hit control and enter. And it's gonna take some time for this package to be installed. As you see, it's being installed. Um, and there we go. Everything has been installed. Package psych successfully unpacked. And uh, so it has been installed good now if you want to open psych again like i said before uh let me just type it here uh type library and into uh, psych and it should oops it should work yeah okay so so psych has been open for you another way of uh opening a uh, package is to use the command require you see uh, in the same way you can just require that command uh, require that package to be open and you just open it but it's it's much more useful and less complicated to use library all right so in the following videos i will start to tell you more about r uh, i have a, a plan to create videos about how to do uh, conventional analysis, IRT, rush measurement, factor analysis, and a lot more just using R. And I sincerely hope that you will take the time to watch those videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.